Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and Samsung just recently pushed off the latest software updates to your Galaxy devices. Now in today's video, I will be showing off the Galaxy Z Fold 3, the Galaxy S22 Ultra, but I do know that multiple other devices also just received their updates within the last 24 to 48 hours. Now these ones were here released in the United States within that time frame, but if you lived overseas in some other countries, you may have seen this update come out sometime last week. Now when it comes down to the Galaxy Z Fold, Fold 3, the size is 305 megabytes with the version ending in CVD4 with the Galaxy S22 Ultra over here. This one has a size of 648 megabytes with the version ending in AVDC. Now, really, when it comes down to a monthly update, they're usually right around 250 or 200 megabytes. So this one's just pretty close, just right above it, but this one is a little bit larger. And I am curious to see if there is any newer versions or changes when it comes down to the these updates. I do know that for the Galaxy S22 Ultra, there should have been some updates when it comes down to vulnerabilities, when it comes down to the weather application and the weather widget, along with the Galaxy Store. So we're just going to go through, we're going to install, download, update both of these devices here, and then we'll take a look at different applications. We'll take a look at the camera, the home, fingerprint reader, face recognition. We'll take a look at the weather. We'll also take a look inside of the Galaxy Store and see if there's a Google Play Store update. Now it's usually at this point in the video that I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel Jimmy is promo you appreciate these tips tricks tutorials and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos so as you guys know, I love shooting these videos each and every month when it comes down to all of these monthly software updates, just because no one else does it. And then we go deep dive into some Samsung applications uh, and some of their services to see if there's any subtle changes that Samsung never lets us know about. So the software update is done and complete. And it looks like the Galaxy S22 Ultra over here automatically updated the Google Play services or the Google Play store. Now, because it is a new month, one of the things that you might want to take a look at is inside of your software information, uh, you want to go and take a look at that Google Play system update just to see if there is any newer versions sitting there. Uh, the Galaxy S22 Ultra looked like it did a download for it and it's asking you to restart now. So your device needs to restart to complete the update. So I'm going to go and hit on restart now. For this one over here, you notice that it was downloading for the S22 Ultra, but it wasn't downloading for the Z Fold 3. So here is that download and install. So when that is done downloading and installing, you now want to restart it. So this way everything just takes form and, and takes the update as well. Well, so now we're going to go through the rest of the changes that happened with this update. Uh, but let's first take a look inside of the camera just to see if there is a newer version of camera here. Now, one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video is not only is this one a small uh, software update, but it also gives you the May 1st security patch. So originally on the Galaxy Z Fold 3, the version was 12.0.0.3.20. This one's still 12.0.0.3.20, so it's the same. Uh, for the Galaxy S22 Ultra, it used to be 12.0.0.1. 62. This one's now 12.0.0.1.69, so slightly newer version of the camera application. Now let's take a look inside of the Samsung Home. Sometimes this one does update every single month, so let's just see if that is the case. So for the Z Fold 3, it used to be 13.1.0.3.3. This one's 13.1.0.3.3. Uh, over here, this one has a green uh, version right here. So maybe that means that it's also new. So this one used to be 13.1.0.3.3. This one's 13.1.0.5.3. So why the Z Fold 3 didn't get this new update, I don't know why. Maybe it's because this one is a folding, you know, flippable folding device. So that's just not how they created the, the Samsung home screens. But for your candy bar shaped devices, more than likely you got a newer version of the home. Now let's go inside of the biometrics and security. So we're going to take a look at the fingerprint readers and face recognition. So let's Let's take a look more biometric settings the patches so for the z fold 3 for the fingerprint it was 6004 it's the same here 6004 for fingerprint it was 2113 uh, same thing here so face recognition 2113 for the s22 ultra it used to be 6008 uh, and then 2115 so these ones are pretty much the exact same there's no changes with the face recognition or fingerprint reader but i do notice over here the galaxy s22 ultra do have newer versions of both of these here for biometrics and security so my guess is maybe in a month or two we will see a newer version of biometrics for the z fold 3. 
Now let's take a look at the weather application just because this is one of those things that I that I did read that there was a newer version here just for vulnerabilities and updates, things like that. So originally for the weather on the Z Fold 3, it used to be 16414. This one's 16418, so there is a newer version here for the weather application. And then when it comes down to the S22 Ultra, it used to be 164111. Uh, this is 164111. So there is a newer version for the Z Fold 3, but not the S22 Ultra. Now let's take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Store, just because this one was also in some articles that I read that there was a newer version here as well, or supposedly a newer version. So for the Z Fold 3, it was 45418. This one's 45418, so it's the same for the Z Fold 3. Uh, for the S22 Ultra, it was 45418. 45418. So I didn't see any newer versions in, in terms of the, the Galaxy Store here. Uh, now there is another thing that you also want to take a look at. There's actually two of them. First First off, let's just open up the Galaxy Store itself because sometimes there's always updates that you may not notice. So you want to go inside of your menu on the bottom right hand side and then click on updates just to see if there's anything added in. So for the Galaxy S22 Ultra, there is a newer version for Samsung Files, the secure Wi-Fi, private share, and then these are just other ones that were you know downloaded to the phone. Uh, and then we also have for the Z Fold 3 photo editor, uh, text to speech, and let's see, home up. And then some of the other ones are just regular applications downloaded, so they're not Samsung apps per, in particular. So you might want to go through and update those. But that is it for today's video. If you guys appreciated this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you appreciated this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.